In order to analyze data in Stack Graphics, it first has to be placed into one of the 26 data sheets in the main data book. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter some data by hand. I've gone and looked at the last five days at Dulles Airport, which is near here, and looked at the low and the high temperatures for each of the days. In order to put that data into the data sheet, the first thing we need to do is define the columns in which we're going to place the data. We define a column by double-clicking on the header of that column. Every column in Stack Graphics is first assigned a name. I'm going to call the first column date because it's going to be uh, the day of the year at which these temperatures were recorded. Columns can also have comments, although it doesn't seem necessary to put a comment here. They also have types. Columns can be numeric, character, or a special type, such as a date or a time. This column is going to be a date, so I'll click on that radio button and then press OK. As soon as I've pressed OK, the name of the column, which incidentally can be anywhere from 1 to 32 characters, is placed in the top row of the header. Clicking on the second column, we're going to call this low. It's going to contain the low temperature for the day. And here I'll put in a comment. I'm going to call this degrees Fahrenheit at IAD, International Airport, Dulles. And it will be numbers, so we'll leave that as numeric. The third column we're going to call high. That's also going to be in degrees Fahrenheit at IAD. We'll leave that also as numeric and press OK. Now the fourth column is going to be a special column. This is going to be the range of temperatures for the day. And I'm going to make this a special column. It's going to be a formula column. In Stack Graphics, you can compute an entire column from other columns by putting in some simple algebraic formula, such as high minus low, and pressing OK we'll now create that column. The fifth column I'm going to call the mid-range. This is also going to be a formula column. It's going to be the low temperature on the day plus the high temperature on the day, the uh, sum of those two divided by two. Once you press OK, we've now defined the five columns in which we're going to place our data. Now, going to the first cell, the first day I have information from is September 28th. So I'll type 9 slash 28 slash 09. Um, if you're in another country and you use a different date format, you'll need to type in whatever format uh, is the default for you currently under Windows. The low temperature on that day was 54. The high temperature at Dulles was 90, uh, 80. Now, as soon as I type in uh, the 80, you'll note that it will compute automatically the range and the mid-range for me. Going to the second row on the 29th, the low temperature was 48. The high temperature was 69. On the 30th of September, it turned out to be exactly like the 29th. It was 48 for a low, 69 for a high. October 1st, it was a little cooler. The low temperature at Dulles was actually 41 degrees. The high temperature only 67 degrees. And finally, on the 2nd of October, it warmed up a little bit. It was 52 for a low and 71 for a high. Now we have our data file defined. Uh, notice the basic format of the data file. Every column represents a variable. It's a day, the low temperature, a high temperature, range, or a mid-range. Every row represents a case. If you set up your data in another program like Excel, it also is going to have, this, have to have this basic format before you can read it into Stack Graphics. Once it's created, I think we should probably save it away. So I'll go to the File menu to Save, Save Data File. Now I'll give it a title for the file such as Temperature. And in Stack Graphics, by default, the data are saved with the file extension of .sgd, which is a special type of XML format for the data. I'll press Save. 
and now it's all saved away to be analyzed at a later time.